Hi, and welcome to Biostock Studio. BIB Instruments Endodrill GI, an electric driven biopsy instrument for endoscopy, is currently being tested in clinics around the world. Founder and CMO Charles Walter is busy traveling to clinics wanting to um, evaluate the instrument. But he's made a stop at our studio here in Lund to tell us more about this. Welcome, Charles. Thank you. Nice to be here. Thank you very much. So like I said, you're currently busy traveling to clinics, talking to healthcare staff and so on. Can you tell us a bit about how it's, how yeah. it's going? How it's going? Yeah, I've been traveling a lot and we've introduced in, uh, Androdrill to clinics now. More clinicians in Scandinavia, uh, Germany, United States and Portugal. And we've got some great feedback, done live cases, a lot of different cases. And uh, yeah, we're very happy about the progress we've made. So what are your thoughts about this, um, this product performing so well, as I understand that it has? Yeah, uh, to be completely honest, uh, we're a little bit surprised that it's gone so well, because uh, we've, done, we've done a lot of cases now, different cases, different indications, and with little or no training, they just go and they get, uh, they get some great uh, samples. <laughs> and we're very happy about that. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit surprised that it's gone so, so quickly in that sense. But of course, there's a learning curve. Certain cases are more difficult than others and all patients are unique, but uh, we're very happy all in all. You mentioned here that you're a little bit surprised, which leads me to ask or to wonder, what is the process usually like when you introduce a new medtech product? Well, uh, our own experience, and I've been part of a, a few introductions in, at different levels, everything from uh, like BIB to, to uh, bigger introductions, and usually there's a little bit uh, further uh, time needed to get it up and running. But this time we really hit the ground running with our device, and it's, uh, we've worked hard on that, and the, by design it's supposed to be easy to use. But uh, to get that feedback so swiftly from different centers in a lot of different countries is something that we're, uh, we're uh, really grateful for. So is that the main feedback that you've had, is that it's, it's easy to use? Yeah, the, the main feedback has been, uh, yeah, it's easy to use, easy to set up, easy to use. They get, they get great samples fairly quickly and in a safe way. Uh, and on the other end, it, there, there can be a learning curve. Certain cases, certain situations, need, you need to adapt more and see how the instrument behaves. And that's the, but all in all, we're very happy about the feedback and it's beyond expectation to be quite honest. You recently did something uh, that I gather is quite exciting, uh, a live sampling in, uh, in Portugal. Why was this important? Yeah, a live sample is, is a really, is a big deal. For, an, for any instrument, to be honest, because it's live. If anything goes wrong or if you miss a beat or something, then it's obvious to everybody. But uh, this was a live session in uh, Porto, in Portugal, for the annual GI meeting in, in Portugal. And, uh, well, there was this case they wanted to show the instrument, and they just picked it up, and in a few seconds they got a great sample and they were done, and everything worked really smoothly, and we got some great feedback, but it's a... It's a yeah, it's a stressful moment because if anything goes wrong, everybody sees it. I but was going to say, it's a <laughs> risk of exposure, right? Yeah. But you pass with flying colors then. Yeah, we did, to be honest. It, it, not us, but, but the team that did it, they were, really, uh, they were really great. They adapted, they changed a few things last minute, which is not optimal, but they did it and they got a great result. So that was a, that was a, a big, uh, big, big moment for Bib and us. And I suppose this having to change things last moment reflects a real world situation. It did, it did, and it, this was uh, this was not, of course, shown to the audience, but uh, the, the people who did it know it, and we know it, and that was a uh, yeah. Once again, the the feedback we received that uh, you can take this instrument and just go, and they did, and it went really well. So we were. Uh, we were really happy and really grateful because we the, you cannot expect this level of of uh, easiness to be honest but uh, we got it and we're grateful for that <laughs> so you've been really busy will you continue to be busy what's the schedule like yeah yeah we will we'll continue to be busy we're a small team and we have several meetings now uh, prepared with uh, different partners and uh, like before that the centers are contacting us we don't have to go out and, and to sort of advertise we have this they, they we want to try this we have a need for this and we have a, a little line now to be honest so it's, we're going to continue traveling we're going to have meeting with potential business partners and uh, we're going to do everything we can to get this out there and and move towards uh, sales and uh, the next step basically 
Well, then we say good luck, safe travels, and uh, thank you for coming here today. Thank you for having me. Thank you.